Yes guys, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video today. We've actually got an absolutely sick review coming up here, man. This car in front of me is absolutely sick. You never see them on the road. I think they're quite rare cars, these are. So you know what, we'll just skip to it. Just get to the cinematics and we'll go, go for a little walk around. Let's go. It's a Honda Civic Type R GT FK8 and man, I can't say I've ever saw many of these on the road but the first thing I've got to say is look how aggressive it is, look, the front bumper, the splitter, there's just the whole design of it just looks absolutely mental. Like, I'm just going to give you a walk around, do what I did on the Megan, little inside view and then take it for a drive and just see, see what it copes up to compared to the mighty Megan. So we'll start off at the front, so you've got your Honda badge, Type R, just holding away there. It's cheeky number plate, Rob. Uh, it's got side vents, so these are actual functional, functional vents, so these actually work. You've got tinted fogs. I'm quite surprised these, these weren't functional vents, because obviously you've got it in here where the intercooler and that goes, so probably could have I think they missed the trick there but maybe for stalling purposes they've kept it like that but yeah you've got actual vents not fake ones cheeky cheeky like carbon fiber splitter which is which is stuck on these always come with like the red pin stripe in um, and then you've got your like Evo 10 kind of kind of air intake which is cool weird thing though air intake's there but the induction kit sits down there um, yeah, it's a, it's a mad one that is. I would have thought the induction kit would have been at the back of the engine. But yeah, so we've got these, light, I think they're like LED strip lights, so the lights come down there um, and at your top there. Same again, let's move on to the side. So we've got side indicator, uh, big Brembo's. I think these are the same as the Megane ones, to be fair. They look quite big though, big monstrous brakes. Um, I think they're stock pads, stock discs. But he's got these lovely OZ uh, HLTs. I think these probably might be the first car I've ever saw one in person, and they do look mint. Um, they come off his BMW, which had the same fitment as these. I think the five times one twenty. Um, so he was absolutely chuffed to put them back on the Civic. So, yep, yeah, Rain Sport fives. He swears by them. He's had them on his last six or seven cars, so he uh, absolutely loves them. Right. So. Do you know what? Just he just drove me here, and it is mint, man. It is absolutely mint. Uh, I love this. Love going out in different cars and that. Like, I think this is the start of the channel properly, man. Like, the mods are always going to be there, but I need to get to do stuff like this because the thrill of going out in other people's cars is just mint. So yeah, enough of me. Let's crack on with this. Let's go. Right. So we're on the side of the car. It's got lines everywhere, man. The arches, what a proper hot hat should be. So we've got, we've got our intakes there. So we've actually got, there's two proper intakes there. I think something to do with the brakes. Um, so they're all fully functional in vents. You've got your quite beefy side skirts with your carbon fibre uh, trim. It actually look, feels like carbon fibre, so it doesn't feel like a wrap as such. But it's quite mad. And then you've got your... Obviously your HLTs with your standard rear pads look absolutely stunning. And then you've got your arches, you've got your plastic wider arches. Look at that, look, look at them man, they look so beefy they do, it is mental. Right and then here's the big boy at the back, ready? 
Look at that spoiler, man. Guys, they don't make cars like this anymore. Like, this is so aggressive. You've got, like, the biggest, beefiest wing you could find and just slaps it on, man. And I actually do love it, to be honest with you. I don't think it's overkill. I know some people probably don't like the fact it's too aggressive, but, man, being up close and personal with this car and the fact you don't see none of them on the road is mental. And then... He's got his HKS exhaust pipes, which look absolutely mint. I'll insert sound clip now. Um, and then yeah, it follows along with the carbon fibre with the red theme. I'm not too sure if I'd get rid of the pinstripe and go black, maybe. Would it, would, does it break it up? What do you think? Um, yeah, it looks a bit mad. So, all right, let's go on the inside and see what's what. Right then, so first things first, let's see the show you the door cards. So we've got like leather, Alcantara red stitching, and then you've got your uh, carbon fiber trim there. Uh, before we get in, I'll show you the seats. Absolutely love these, these Recaro CS with like the red Alcantara with a black pucker. And it follow, follows on in here as well. It's got the, uh, oh my God, look at the seat in position. So we've got, got the carbon, Stop that, stop that. It's because the door's open. So we've got carbon fiber, stop start button. Uh, we've got a digital dash, which most cars are doing now. They're all gone. The analog's disappearing. It's all going digital. But you know what? It's a very nice place to be, man. Like even the shifter, that shifter feels absolutely beautiful. Um, park, park brakes. You can't do your normal skids in your old Civics. Um, comfort mode, which you might as well tip X that out because no one's going to use comfort mode in a tall bar. Um, and then the lovely shifter, um, dual climate control. And then it's got Android Auto, sat nav, all that jazz. All the stuff on the main cars have uh, line assist, all that kind of stuff. Um, blowing spot, so it'll tell you. But look at the wing, guys. Look at that wing, man. That is beefcake or what? Um, so, yeah. Let's give you a little walk around, let you know what you think. Um, give it a couple of revs. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not got red back seats. I would have thought the seats would have been red in the back. No way. He's, look what he's even bought me. He's even bought me a can of Monster. Laura, I haven't had one for nearly two months now, so I can't break it now, but thank you anyway, Rob. I would have had one, but <laughs> I can't. Inside, oh, man, honestly, this thing feels mad. Oh, the shifter, everything, man, it is mental. This thing, I can't wait to drive it. Right, so, gotta do this as a practical video. We're not all about brake horsepower and speed here. I'm sorry for dusting your mat, but I'm quite tall. Yeah. It's actually not, it's not too bad, considering the front has got loads of um, leg room. And even the top, look, I've got so much headroom here. It's actually a decent place to be in the back as well. Nice foamy kind of seats, it's a weird, like a foamy cover it feels like. Speaker in the door, absolutely pucker. And then if you're interested in this stuff, it's got a big old boot as well, so you can get quite a lot in there. I've got my camera stuff. The gimbal and camera bag, you get quite a fair bit in there, man. Such a wicked place to be, man, honestly. Right, I wonder how long it'll take me to open the bonnet. Mm. 
Hey, didn't take too long at all. Bloody hell, that is hot. Woo. Right then, so your typical Honda boys are gonna be like two litre VTEC, but this is a different breed. This is a different era. So this is a two litre. It has got VTEC, but it's got a turbo. So it's a completely different ball game. You, you don't get as much bah! as you would on the old EP3s, FN2s and that kind of stuff. But it's just a different animal. The power you get out of these, literally light work is just mental. So you've got two litre block there. I don't really know much about it, to be honest with you. I'm just trying to show you what, if one of you is looking to buy one of these, or this is kind of, if I was going to buy one, this is what I would want to see. So it's just the engine bay. Got a sexy little spoon um, engine filler thing. I never known until a couple of weeks ago, that's how you check the oil, which is very cool. Because it doesn't look like a little dipstick. But yeah, carbon fiber effect, red. Absolutely lovely. And then it says, Earth Dreams Technology VTEC Turbo. Big things, man. Can't wait to give it a cheeky send. So yeah, let's uh, let's go for a blast. I'm so excited to drive this. Uh, he's, he's, Rob is in the back, um, he's in my Megane and he's following me. So we're just gonna have a little drive, see what it feels like, see what the newer age hot hatch feels like and let's go. So, I'm gonna go. I need to pull the seat forward, jeez. Oh, you know what, straight out of the back, these seats feel mint. <laughs> How's the clutch? <laughs> Hey, eh? yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Go on then, lead the way. It's gonna be weird shifting. Yeah, no, I had to move the mirrors up a bit. Oh really? Ah, oh, it's all right, man. <laughs> yeah, man, go for it. Whoa, the clutch! Jeez, that feels lovely. I like this. This is what I'm talking about. Owners letting me drive the cars. Man. Oh, man, that feels good. So, this car literally ticks so much boxes. It's literally like the Megane competitor if you love Hondas. So, if you've got a two litre engine, VTEC, and a turbo, and I can tell you the VTEC definitely works. The pedal, the brake pedal's solid. What the hell? No, my pedal feels like it's got so much like movement. Whereas this, it was like putting my foot on a rock. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's a new car or, but man, drop a gear, disappear. Brakes feel mad. What's he doing? Oh no, a cat. Oh, poor animal. Man, that feels, oh my God. So, we've got a two litre VTEC slash turboed engine, roughly, 320 PS, 316 brake horsepower. Depends who you are and what you like. I've got brake horsepower and pants foot torque. That's what I'm about. Cheeky turn. Whoa, man. Oh, it feels mental. <laughs> Whoa, that is steering lock. The brake pedal feels weird, you know. It feels like mine. I feel like I've got loads of feedback, like I can 
look, it pro this probably is, if you anchor on the brakes, probably does feel mental. But, yeah, well, okay, let me go. I'm getting too excited here. So, 320 brake, 296 pound foot of torque, which is, which is plenty, man, which is plenty. Um, it does weigh 1730 kilograms. This is going off auto trader, by the way. So, I've, I didn't think it'd weigh that much. That is quite heavy. I'm sure that's like GTR territory for a hot hatch, which is mental. Um, but the, the good thing with these, because of the newer engines, you can get power out of them like that. So, he's got uh, a HKS back box, hey, a forge induction kit. Um, and he's got a HKS intercooler that he's just about to fit. Um, and then he's gonna get a sports cat um, and then hopefully get it mapped. And you should see 420, 430 brake, just basically on bolt on mods. And that's why I do like the newer engines because the capabilities are just mental. Um, Obviously, I do love the Megane, like, but to get that kind of power, hybrid turbo forging, it's just mental. Um, and it does sound nice, to be fair. Look, I do think that the newer cars dull the the sound of them, but this this feels just right. I think mine's quite loud. Um, where is this? I don't know about them brakes. I don't know if it's because I've got the EBC RPXs in mine, which are like the Mac Daddies, but I don't feel the confidence. I look forward to speaking to him after and see what he thinks, because they feel rock hard. Um, oh, it just revs and revs and revs. It is mental. Like you're sitting at like two and a half K and you've still got 5,000 RPM. So red lines says seven, eight, but the speed you'll pick up in this thing is just mental. sound lovely though I just I don't know if it's because I'm used to my shifter it look it does feel nice but I think because I've got my one like that it feels completely different like obviously me driving a normal car now I've got to get used to normal stick shift and throwing but it does feel There's a bit of body roll, there's not much. I think it's it's in R plus mode at the minute, so if I knock it down, that's sport. Knock it down again, that's comfort. So the steering has gone like buttery smooth. Uh, but apparently when you start the car, it's always in type R mode. So it's always in sport mode, which if you buy a hot hatch, that's what you want. Um, so yeah, we're gonna knock it up to sport knock it up to sport plus which i think it just makes the steering a bit harder i can feel a bit of play but i think that's a bit unfair because obviously my my car's stiff as a board you know what i mean but, but this is what i want to do man just this experience of going out in someone else's car it's just amazing um oh that sound man sounds mint so we'll slow we'll slow her down, slow her down, 2000 RPM. Third gear, we'll go second, we'll go second, we'll go second, two and a half thousand RPM, go. Yes man, she don't half go. What a car, man. Honestly, Rob, thank you so much for letting me go have a go of your car, like. He's not even in, in my car. I just said, come on, come down, have a blast. And I'm like, what, me? So, oh, it's got like an auto blip on it. Boom, boom. Oh, it's mad. Um, so yeah, this car, I think, yeah, out the box, on track, will be absolutely mint, like the, which one holds the Nürburgring record? I know the Megane Trophy R has just took it over, 
but was it this one or the FK2 that was the one that held the ring record? And you can see why, because it's like the Megane out the box. It is an incredible car. As soon as you start throwing coilovers on it, sticky tires and a bit more power, the thing's just an animal. And I think this will be the same. I think this with an extra 100 brake out of bolt on mods and a map would just be insane. So it's a, it's a mad one. And then if you want to just cruise, just go in comfort and just just drive to where you need to be. It's pucker, not that you're gonna do that. If you've got a Type R, most of the time you're gonna be in R+. Um, you've got all your fancy, you're not really lacking anything by buying a Honda. It's still got all the gadgets, still got all the tech. It's got the dual like screens, sat nav, all that kind of jazz. Um, yeah, it's flipping. It's a good all-rounder, man. Even got a phone charger. To be fair, I could do put my phone on there because my phone's dead. I think, I, I love the sound of it, but I think a decat will just open it up massively. Uh, I think a decat will just be like night and day difference. Um, I'm excited to see what he thinks of my car, to be honest. Um, oh, yeah. What a geezer, letting me drive his car, man. Man, this thing rips. Driving it for about half an hour, 40 minutes now. I've noticed that it's got like when you downshift, it's got like a, an auto blip. So when you drop down, it automatically like it seems like it's a lot easier to slip off the clutch. Like I'm in third gear now, and it boom. So it's like you're heel and toe in a bit, but you're not. Um, another thing which is weird when when you're planting it and you change gear it jolts you back a lot more and I can't explain what it is, you know, like with an automatic, it's just like boop, 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 boop. With this, when you change gear, you proper, um, I don't know why he was waving at me, uh, probably not for me, but uh, it, it proper jolts you, man, like, and it, it adds to the driving experience. These hot hatches are about country lanes, just dual carriageways, just having a bit of fun, man, and track as well, obviously. But uh, yeah, man, these things are mint, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, I'm gonna try and get into these massively as this is something I wanna pursue. Um, Rob, thank you so much for letting me have a blast of your car. And if there's anyone out there that fancies doing the same and getting on the channel, um, I would massively appreciate it. So yeah, I'm going to leave that one here and uh, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.